Hey guys, only on Steam Culture, I'm going to attempt to make a connection between Steam, Play-Doh, and snack foods. So stick around. Okay, today we are talking about something called extrusion. Now extrusion is basically the process of shoving something through a tube and at the end forcing it out through a die to make a shape or a texture. It's kind of like if you've squeezed toothpaste out of a tube or remember, you know, for you guys that are my age when we were kids and we played with the Play-Doh and you'd force it through, that's kind of like extrusion. Now extruder is basically a few things. So you have a hopper where all the ingredients go in. We have a tube which at the end has a restriction where something called a cutting die is. But what's gonna happen is ingredients come in and you have a large, looks like a giant screw or what's called an extruder. It mixes the ingredients as they move along, it forces it into the die and pushes it through and then you have your shapes or your food. So let's talk about what we're making in an extruder. So a couple different examples here. We can make pasta, we can make candy like licorice, we can make dog food, I'm guessing you could probably make cat food, but I don't like cats, so I didn't research it. So dog food is what we're making. Oh, and Easter's coming up, and we make peeps. We also make a ton of snack food, which is my favorite food category. But within the snack food category, there is some hollowed ground that we need to dig into because it just so happens that two of my favorite snacks are made with food extrusion. Let me get them for you. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Cheese balls and Funyuns. You smell the Funyun right there? Yeah, these are made with food extrusion. So like I said, we have this um, extruder and we put the ingredients, which is basically cornmeal and water, in the end. Now, on a cooking extruder, there's a jacket that goes around the barrel. Within the outside wall of the barrel and the wall of this jacket, steam fills it and it cooks the ingredients that are in the extruder. So as the extruder is pushing the cornmeal and the water mix through, it's getting all this temperature and it's building pressure. Now because it's under pressure, the water that's in there does not turn into steam. So here's where the magic happens. As it reaches the end and it gets forced through that dye, as soon as it reaches atmospheric pressure, that water instantly turns into steam, which instantly cooks the mixture and it puffs it up and it gives it its large uh, puffy shape that we know as the Funyun and the cheese curl. Now from there, angels with wings fly overhead, sing songs, and drop cheese and onion dust on them. And then we ended up with these two delicious friends. So if I have ever made a case for you as to why steam is at the root of all the good things in our civilization, today I have done it. Oh my gosh. I mean both. So join me next week. I'll come up with something cool on steam culture for you. Find us on social media because we're everywhere. And I'll see you later because it's snack time. This is like the best episode.